here again to have a wonderful song service with you all. And I know we are all glad at this point in time the day has come. And I do you welcome. And before we go any further, let us have a word of prayer. Yes, and a Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. And if you have spread our life on the in the land of religion, and that we could come even on this broadcast to have peace fellowship and to honor you, dear Lord, and to keep our life close to you. So bless us and keep us, and let us program this as um, be the way that you want us to be, and to touch lives and to be the most precious name we thank you. Hi again. So our first song will be 647. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. <laughs> Stand up for Jesus. Six eighteen. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He is as of the cross. His royal battle, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead. Till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord in thee. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the trumpet call obey, for to the mighty conflict in his glorious day, he died to his own serving against a numbering Oh 
enjoyed forever and his goodness surrounds us every day so be blessed by this song we give God praise for his faithfulness for his love he has never failed us and he will never fail us I love you, Lord, for your mercy never failed me. In all my days, I've been held in your hands. 
From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God And all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so so good, yes, with every breath that I am able, yes, I will sing of the goodness of God, and I love your voice, you have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You were close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as my friend For I have lived in the goodness of God And all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so, so good, yes With every breath that I am able Yes, I will sing of the goodness of God For your goodness is running after, is running after me your goodness is running after, is running after me With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now I'll give you everything For your goodness is running after, is running after me Your goodness is running after, is running after me your goodness is running after, is running after me With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now I'll give you everything For your goodness is running after, is running after me And all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so good, yes With every breath that I am able Yes, I will sing of the goodness of God Oh, I will sing sing of your goodness be safe and take care love you bye pleasant good afternoon to each and everyone this afternoon I am simply here not to preach but I'm just here to encourage you in the Word of God but before we go into the Word of God let us pray our Father and our God, this afternoon we come before your presence in the name of Jesus Christ, thanking you for each and everything that you have been doing in our life and for what you will do. This afternoon we ask for God that you will speak to us 
and help us, Lord, to walk in obedience. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, brethren. Hallelujah. This afternoon, the topic for this afternoon is trust and obey. Yes. The topic this afternoon is trust and obey. Mm -hmm. I want to take you to a, a, a familiar scripture in the Bible. The book of St. John. St. John chapter 14 from verse 1 to 3. It says, Ye believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that wheresoever I am, there ye may be also. And brethren, back then, when Jesus walked the earth, Jesus was comforting his disciples. He realized, brethren, that he realized that when he leave the earth to go back to his father he realized that his disciples will go through all sorts of things and he was comforting them he told them let not your heart be troubled and that same jesus is speaking to us today and he's saying to us today let not your heart be troubled he says ye believe in god believe also in me he says, if we believe in God, we will believe in Him. And He has gone to prepare a place for us. And when He comes again, He will receive us unto Himself. That wheresoever He is, there we will be also. And this afternoon, brethren, I know that many of us, a matter of fact, I know all of us wants to go to heaven. But to go to heaven, we have to go through a preparation, brethren. We cannot prepare ourselves. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. And many, many brethren today, many of our brethren today are going through all sorts of things. Test trials, spiritual attacks, financial situation. We see wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places pestilence all these things but jesus says those are the beginning of sorrows but the end is not yet and if we are to go to heaven to meet jesus we have to go through the purification process brethren i want to read something here for you it says it says while a human agent is planning for himself I'll read again it says while the human agent is devising and planning for himself something that God has withheld him from doing he has a hard time he complains and frets and has still increases difficulties but when he submit to be as clay in the hands of the potter then God works the man into a vessel of honor mm -hmm. The potter submit to be working if God has his way. Hundred would be working and made into vessel as he sees best. Let the hand of God work the clay for his own service. He know what kind of vessel he wants. Yes, brother. He knows just what kind of vessel he wants. To every man he has given his work. God knows what place he is best fitted for. Many are working contrary to the will of God and they spoil the web. The Lord wants everyone to be submissive under his divine guidance. He will place men where they will be, where they will submit to be working mm -hmm. into oneness with Christ, bringing his divine similitudes. Itself will submit to be working if you will cooperate with god if you will pray in unity work in unity all taking your place as threads in the web of life 
you will grow up into a beautiful fabric that will rejoice the universe of God. Mm -hmm. It says the potter cannot mold and fashion unto honor that which has never been placed in his hand. The Christian life is one of daily surrender, submission, and continual overcoming. Every day, fresh victory will begin. Self must be lost sight of, and the love of God must be constantly cultivated. Thus we grow up into Christ. Thus the life is fashioned according to his divine molding. It says every child of God is to do his very best to uplift the standard of truth. He is to work in God's order. If self is exalted, Christ is not magnified. Mm -hmm. In his word, God compares himself to be a potter and his people to the clay. His work is to mold and fashion them after his own similitudes. The lesson they are to learn is the lesson of submission. Self is not to be made permitted. If due attention is given to the divine instruction, if self is surrendered to the divine will, the hand of the potter will produce a shapely vessel. And brethren, besides God is preparing his people for heaven, God is also preparing his people to present to the world the three angel message hallelujah and brethren this is a message of importance this is a message brethren that we must go out and allow god holy spirit and god holy angel to go before us and with us brethren hallelujah brethren Back then, the early disciples, the early disciples came together in oneness, put aside their differences and prayed. And the Spirit of God came upon them. The Bible says the Spirit of God came as a mighty rushing wind into the house and sat upon each and every one of them and gave them utterance. And today, brethren, today, God wants to give us that similar blessing. The Bible says that after pouring out his spirit upon the early disciples, the Lord did not lock up the reservoir of heaven. And today, brethren, today, he's willing to give us that similar blessing if we pray for it as earnestly and seek for it, brethren. Hallelujah. Hear what it says. It says, as the members of the body of Christ approach the parole of uh, their last conflict, the time of Jacob's trouble, they will grow up into Christ and will partake largely of his spirit. As the third message swells to a low cry, as, and as great power and glory attain the closing work, the faithful people of God will partake of that glory it is the latter rain aha uh -huh. which will which reveal and strengthen them to pass through the time of trouble their face will shine with the glory of that light which attain the third angel message brethren brethren our face will be lightened, brethren, with the third angel. And when we go out there, brethren, when we go out there to present God's word to the people who are standing on the brink of ruin, to the people who are standing on the edge of destruction, brethren, to the people who have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as yet as their personal Lord and Savior, we have to believe by faith that Jesus is with us. He made a promise he will not leave us nor forsake us, brethren. Do you believe that this afternoon? Brethren, Jesus is coming again. Do you believe that? Jesus is about to put in his second appearance on the face of the earth. 
and many people out there are dying without Christ in their lives. And God has given us this opportunity. God has given us this privilege, brethren, to go out there and to present His word. Brethren, my encouragement to each and every one of us this afternoon. Don't lose hope. It may seem as nothing isn't taking place in your life. Some of you may be experiencing, experiencing a spiritual situation in your life. Some of you may be experiencing a physical situation in your life. Or some of you may be experiencing a financial situation in your life. Brethren. And in spite of what is taking place, in spite of the murders, in spite of the earthquakes, brethren, Jesus is still in control. Hallelujah. Jesus is still on the throne, brethren. Jesus is still in control. Do you believe that this afternoon? My encouragement to each and every one of us this afternoon as we continue to run this race with patience as we continue to fight the good fight of faith as we continue brethren to hold on to Jesus and to look to him as the author and finish of our faith let us hold on hold on to Jesus brethren even if it is at the hem of his garment May God's Holy Spirit continue to bless you and keep you. In Jesus' most holy and precious name, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Hi, our closing song will now be 655, Happy the Whole. <laughs> Happy the home when God is there and love is every breast. When one dare wish and one dare breathe and one dare help the rest. Lord, 